the South China Sea, a strategic body of water bordered by countries driving the rapid economic growth of the Asia-Pacific region. It is also a global center of shallow water tropical marine biodiversity, which supports globally significant fisheries that are important to the food security and export income of Southeast Asian countries. These fisheries are characterized by high levels of fishing effort, and all inshore waters of the basin are intensely fished. This situation of high inshore fishing pressure and declining fisheries resources has contributed to the adoption of unsustainable fishing methods. This alarming decrease of habitat is being met with a rapid increase of the region's population. In the next 20, 30 years, the population will cause a high demand of fish. And how can we cope with the, the increasing of that enormous number of the population? Fish stocks of most species are considered to be fully fished or overexploited. <laughs> At the same time, the rapid development of coastal tourism has impacted reefs, while the proliferation of aquaculture and coastal development has cleared critical habitat areas and contributed to increased pollution. The continued decline in the total area of habitats critical to the life cycles of most fish species, combined with high levels of coastal community dependence on fish, has raised serious concerns for the long-term sustainability of small-scale fisheries in the region. The Southeast Asia Japanese member country decided to adopt the resolution plan of action for the sustainable development of fishery in the region. And that is the backbone of the fishery management. With support of the Global Environment Facility, the United Nations Environment Program developed a strategic action program for the South China Sea. The fisheries component of this SAP outlined actions to establish and operate a regional system of fisheries refugia. The main problem in this region is the catch of juvenile fish. We have like an MPA that no trawl. But we also have what we call fishery refugia, or the critical area for the juvenile fish. Fishing capacity is the whole thing. No? Unique to the fisheries refugia approach is that the initiative was developed alongside its key stakeholders. Fisheries refugia requires the involvement of the fishing community. The fishing community must be aware of what they are doing and why they are doing it. The Fisheries Refugia Initiative will also support the achievement of the Sustainable Development Goals and the HE targets for biodiversity conservation. Experience of pilot fisheries refugia activities indicate that the approach is well received at all levels and has been utilized to build partnerships and to enhance communication between the fisheries and environment sectors. Leading the way in the implementation of the initiative is an organization familiar with the inner workings of the South China Sea region. CFTEC is not just a regional organization, but it is an organization which has all of the basic requirements for supporting a project of this nature. Led by CFDEC, the Fisheries Refugia Initiative will operationalize the effective management of a network of priority fisheries refugia sites. Reductions in stress on fish stock and the environment at these sites will contribute greatly to nutritional security, livelihoods, and the sustainability of an untold number of small-scale fishing communities. 
while promoting human rights-based approaches and gender mainstreaming in every corner. By supporting actions that have multiple benefits for fish stocks and habitats at both the local and South China Sea Basin level, more than 270 million lives that depend on the resources of this remarkable body of water can look forward to a viable and sustainable future ahead.